This is Cassell from Creation Cassell. The ability to place text inside a shape is not a native function of PaintShop Pro. So in this tutorial, we'll look at how to achieve that effect using the text wrapping script. Before you start, make sure you save the script in a restricted scripts folder. The script will work only with a particular type of paths. A couple of those paths are available with the script or more can be purchased separately in the store. First, open one path you want to use. I chose the circle shape path. It is quite large and I could resize it if I wanted, but I will just use it as is. In the layer palette, find a path layer and open it by clicking on the little arrow on the left. This will display the actual path object. Make sure it is active. Click on it if it isn't. Now it's time to activate your text tool. Choose a font and a size that you want. If you're using the full size path, a font size of at least 72 pixels will give good results. In this example, I will be using 120 pixels. Choose the left alignment, create as a vector, and you keep all the settings, offsets, leading, kerning, tracking, down to zero. Choose the color you want to use as a background or fill. And if you want to have an outline, you can choose one too. But I'll just leave it at only having a fill and no outline. Hover over the first line of your path. You should see the cursor change shape. Click to start adding text. If your text extends past the first line, it means it's not anchored and the script will fail. If your text wraps from one line to the other, it will be anchored correctly. You want your text to wrap in this manner. Don't worry about the odd line change. The script will take care of that. Write your entire text without any returns or any color or font style change inside the text, otherwise the script will fail. Once your text is entered, accept it. And now it's time to run the script and follow the prompts. Making sure that your text object is active, click the run icon. Here you will get a reminder that you need to have your text anchored and the text layer active. Now I have to choose which alignment I want. It's up to you whether you want to have your text left, center or right aligned. For this shape, since it is symmetrical, I'll choose the center align. Once the script has completed, you will notice that each line of text is a separate text object. This keeps the text editable for you at this point. This keeps the text editable for you. At this point, you can hide the path and the template too. If you are happy with the result, Save a PSP image version of this project so you can keep an editable version just in case. Then you can right click and merge all the visible layers. And now you have a raster layer which you can now copy and paste onto another project of your choice. It's that simple. For extra paths to use with the text wrapping script, check out my store. Have fun!